use Camtasia to record my screen. I also use it to edit my videos. It's a great software if you want to create professional educational videos on Windows or Mac. Now, since many of you are also using Camtasia, I'm going to share my top tips that I've collected over the years. Now, these tips are based on the most current version of Camtasia, although a lot of them apply to the older versions as well. Now, in addition to the tips, you're also going to learn how to create really cool text effects like this one. And to make it easy for you, I've made this Camtasia project file available for you. Just download it from the link below this video. Feel free to use it as you want. Now let's get started with my top tips so you can edit like a pro. Tip number one, easy zoom. Sometimes you want to zoom into a particular part of your video, especially for screen recordings. It's necessary to zoom in so that your audience can see better what's going on on the screen. Now I have to say the zoom feature in Camtasia is really the best. It's super easy, especially if I compare it to other editing software that I've used before. Now there are two ways that you can get this done. And the second one will also improve your editing process. Here I have my screencast and I want to zoom to this part. Press A to go to the animation tab and then drag and drop this scale up animation onto your footage. Now I can set the position. I can see the scale too. So let's fix it like this. Now let's hit play to see what we get. Now let's undo the changes that I just made and I'm going to show you a faster and easier way. First select a clip and split it by pressing S on your keyboard. Now adjust the position and scale as you like. When you're done, select both clips, right mouse click and select stitch selected media or use the shortcut Control Alt I. This will stitch these two clips together and create an animation. You can adjust the length by dragging these two dots like that. Tip number two, 3D rotate. It's time to take your animation skills to the next level. This technique lets you show your footage from a different perspective. So let's say you want your audience to focus on this specific piece of the frame. You could use the zoom feature, but another effective way is to use 3D rotate. First, select the media, hold control shift, and then click and drag on the preview window. Adjust the frame as you like, update the scale, and stitch these two with the shortcut control alt I. And here is the result. Number three, auto save. You've got to turn autosave on. You're not going to believe how many hours of editing work I lost because my project crashed and I forgot to save. To make sure your autosave is on, go to the edit tab and select preferences. You can also open the preferences window by pressing control comma. In the program tab, place a check mark right here. This is going to enable the autosave feature. Here on the right, you can specify how often you want to save the file. I'm going to set mine to every one minute. Down here, you can open the autosave folder. So whenever you want to grab your autosaved file, it's going to be right here. If you try to open a project after a computer or software crash, Camtasia is automatically going to ask you if you want to recover and open the last autosaved version of that project. Just hit recover and then you can continue to work on it. Next step is save to the library. If you're editing a lot of videos, I'm sure you have a lot of assets that you are constantly reusing. So it could be an intro, it could be a subscriber reminder, it could be an animated text annotation, whatever you use across different projects. Now, if you save these to the library, you can easily access them whenever you want. As an example, let's take the end screen for my YouTube videos. As you can see, there are many things going on here. We have shapes, pictures, text, and this subscriber animation. Imagine having to import all of these separately and then setting them up like that for each of my videos. That would be a major time waste. To avoid this, you're going to use the Camtasia library. First, let's select everything by pressing Ctrl A. Then right mouse click and choose Add to Library. Or just use the shortcut Ctrl Shift A. 
Here you can specify the name. I'm going to call it LG End Screen. Down here, you can select to which folder of the library you want to save it to. I'm going to go with this one and then click on OK. And now whenever I want to use that end screen, all I have to do is go to the library tab, find a folder, drag and drop the asset on the timeline and ungroup it with the shortcut Control U. How simple is that? Tip number five, use ripple delete. This is going to give you a productivity boost. For example, let's say you want to cut out this piece in the middle of this footage. Of course, you can select the clip, hit S on your keyboard to split it, then do the same on the other side, delete that piece in the middle, and then move this clip to the left. But a much faster method is ripple delete. First, select the part that you want to cut out with these selection handles up here, then right mouse click inside the selection and click ripple delete or use the shortcut control backspace. This is going to delete the selected piece of your footage and it's going to automatically stick them together. Number six, group your media. Sometimes when you edit a more complex video, you may end up with a timeline that looks like this. This is because you have many graphics, B-rolls, music, sound effects, and all the good stuff. Here's good practice to use grouping because a clean timeline is going to improve your workflow. So it's easier to navigate and, you know, you don't get overwhelmed with all these different assets. It's like putting things in drawers in your office. So for example, let's take this screen recording with these three annotations. Notice that each annotation is made out of a shape and a text, which makes six tracks in total. We don't need that many. So let's use group to clean this up. Select the layers you want to group, right mouse click and select group. You can also use the shortcut control G. Now you have them all grouped together on a single track. Aside from this, you can apply behaviors and transition to the entire group. So let's say you want them to slide in from the left side. And then after some time, you want them to fade out. So let's go to the behaviors tab and drag and drop the sliding animation. Now we just need to adjust the settings. So I want it to slide in from the left and for the rest, I'm just going to go with none. Let's go to the transitions tab and search for the fade effect. When I hover over on the top right corner, I get this star icon, which is going to let me save the effect as my favorite. Click it and the effect is going to appear in the favorites tab. Then drag and drop the effect onto the end of your group. Here is the result. Next tip, no more choppy playback. If you see choppy playback during your edits, it's because your computer can't handle these high resolution videos like 4K or sometimes even 1080p. In Camtasia 2021, you're able to create a proxy video, which is a lower resolution file of the original footage. This is going to let you have a smoother playback. Here's how. In the media tab, select the footage you want to make a proxy video for. Right mouse click, proxy video, and select create proxy video. Once this is done, you're going to get this yellow mark in the bottom left corner. Now the selected footage is in lower resolution and you can edit smoothly without any problems. To delete the proxy video, right mouse click on the video with the yellow mark, proxy video, and select delete proxy video. Last tip, add mask effect. If you have Camtasia 2020 or higher, you can create really cool text effects like this one. It's a video playing inside the text. To do that, we're going to need three things. First, the background layer. In my case, it's white. Next, we need just some footage. I'm going to use water here. The last thing you're going to need is the text layer. I'm going to type out water. Change the font to something bold and let's increase the size. Align all of the layers so that they're the same length. Now focus only on the track where the text layer is sitting. Here you can see three icons. Right mouse click on the eye icon and here you get to specify the track map mode. Select alpha. And here you have it. 
To spice things up, you can even add some nice sound effects. For this one, check out the Camtasia project file from the link in the description of this video so that you can follow along. Okay, so these were my Camtasia tips. I hope you found something new here that you can apply to your editing projects. So let me know what you liked. If you also have any tips of your own, please share these below in the comments. And in case you're using DaVinci Resolve as well, check out my editing tips in this video. It was great to have you here. Please give this video a like. Also consider joining our community by subscribing if you haven't already done so. Many thanks for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video.